Yeah. Yo, that, that comment was like that said your fingers had like turkey <laughs> skin on them was wild. <laughs> you, what? <laughs> turkey skin. <laughs> the guy was like, yo, you got like turkey neck skin on your fingertips. <laughs> he did say that. That's a fact. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another edition of Four Dummies, and today we are breaking the mold, so to speak. Shout out to Breaking the Mold on the Cool Table Network. We have Mr. Skullface. Hi. We have Just One. Yo, what's happening? We have Robert Detoff, and we have a lady on Robert Detoff's lap with his right hand on her hip. That's Belisa, my significant other. She decided to join me. (laughs) So you know what I say, boys? Gather around, put some R&B on, anything but R. Kelly, and let's have a moment. We're going to get outside the norm a bit tonight, and we're going to talk about future collections or collections collections that you think are going to happen but you're not really quite willing to admit to yourself yet perhaps so or we could talk about collections that we have to plan for in the basement that don't exist yet but we have to be prepared in case they come out good night don't ever disagree with me in public again oh Sorry, right. sorry, 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 um, sorry. <laughs> oh, you just offended a female member of this show. On International Women's Day. <laughs> that is true. That's f***ed <laughs> up. All right, Jisk, you are stuck in Transformers, right? That's it. That's the, that's, that's, that's it. The sun rises and sets with your Transformers collection, and that's it. And that gets... Sun's getting real loud too. Is that oh, the is big it, guy? Is that the most important <laughs> dude? Come on, man, it's my friend. Don't call him no, a big guy. No, you know what that is. <laughs> Just do you know what that's from? Explain it to him. <laughs> no, I don't. No, call me big guy. Yeah, because I'm fat. It's cool. No, <laughs> God, do you think I would no, do I'm that? Not. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! I was feeling awful. Like, do you really think that? Now, just you still have your Mario Brother collection, right? I do still have it. It is currently in boxes. Are you getting rid of it or are you keeping it? I don't know. What I'll is what keep is it, your Mario Brother collection? S H Figuarts. It's the same Figuarts as yours stuff. or same as Chris's? Mm. Same as Chris's. You see what she yeah. did? She International just... Women's Day. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think you're going to sell it? I don't know. Lazy for that. I, <laughs> I don't. It's not that it has nothing to do with laziness. I don't like selling stuff. Really. You like you like Mega Man too, as well, don't you? I do, but you're not. I'm interested? not interested because they're not doing what I would want. What would it take for you to would, buy in? I would want all like SH figure art style, like those Mario style, but like of oh, Mega Man, all the villains. The villains. It's the you villains. Know? It's the villains. It is the it? villains. Just be honest. Yeah. Yeah, me too. It is the villains. That's me what too. I want. Me too. I need a leaf man. You can name your price for Snake Man. I Dude. need a dog. I need a Dr. Light. I need it all. Talk about it. So, because they're not offering that, and because you're not entirely happy with your Mario Brother collection, I'm going to use you as more so the host of this episode. I'm going to start with Robert, because I think Bobby, <clears throat> everybody knows kind of what you're into. But Robert, what do you collect that's like on display? Lisa, what do you see around you? Oh my god, I can't identify robots. I'm swimming. I'm cloaked in a pile of robots. <laughs> well, I'm the, the Transformers trash heap right now. Laura, if I was to be immersed in any one of my collections, what would you prefer it be? Probably be DC first and Star Wars second. But I really love my Dragon Ball Z collection. I've got a beautiful Dragon Ball Z collection. Another thing that takes up a shelf is my um, Gundam. And I built these things and I love them. I, I've tossed a lot of them because they fall apart. And the best ones I've kept. But I have to bend them too. And it's really I really don't want to because I built them. It was the joy just building them. Maybe they yes. just build them and let them go. Yeah. And doing the puzzle, and then you build it and take that set shit it. Apart and yep. put it back in the box. That, you set it free. That's, but I ideally like what I want is just a, a few masterpiece Transformers, the best of the best, the big bots, and then I can have all of the legends with the big bot. One big bot per shelf, and then a legends collection per big bot, Autobot or Decepticon. And then that'll free me up for my Flames toys, which will expand. I've got Voltron. Man, if I had real estate, I would probably get into statues. What would your statues be of? Transformer. It would be statues? Transformer-related statues. Ooh. So that's your number one passion is Transformers, for sure. Yeah, but 
I mean, honestly, if they came out with Hot Toys, He-Man, Masters of the Universe, that would be, I would probably want that. If you would have one shelf, though, of just like you said, I'd have Legends of the Key Guys. Like, what's stopping you from doing that now? Why are you still going in on all these MPs? Good question. If that's ultimately not what you want to do. You know, the only thing stopped me from selling my stuff is I'd have to, like, go through all the bins and match accessory bags of toys. <laughs> yeah, Bobby always uh, so makes me help with that. So what you're telling me is that. laziness. The reason why Wait, oh, yeah, I'm laziness. lazy as I'm lazier than you, man. <laughs> There's a lot of variety with Transformer statues. A lot more than people think. So, Bobby, let, let me first t- uh, talk about what's a collection that you don't have that you would like to get into. I am watching the Todd McFarlane DC possibly six-inch figure line very closely. The problem is, is that Hasbro is greater than Mattel. And to me, I want the YouTube comment section to be very fragile with me. DC is greater than Marvel. Hashtag me too. Hashtag. I mean, it's the on Woman's Day at that. On Woman's Day. I want a shelf of DC stuff to represent my right. love for DC. And I understand that because you don't have a you don't have one represented. But what's a what's a line that you would go in on that most people would be like, damn man, I can't believe you'd collect that. Like yes. I'm not sure because I, I think that most people kind of get my love because I'm I'm so vocal about it with my heart on my sleeve. I want the turtles line, the neck. Don't roll your eyes. And that's stupid. Rolling. We t- that's we talked stupid. about this, dude. You don't want to be it, man. You don't want it. I want the turtles to go crazy. I want. NECA turtles to go crazy. You would buy like a Mondo Gecko? You guys got a skateboard? 1,000%. I would have a Mondo (laughs) Gecko. 1,000%. I would have a a Slash, (laughs) Mutagen Man, the little pizza guy. I'd have all those guys. I I would rock all those. The neutrinos? Wasn't that what they were called? Yeah, 100% I'd rock the neutrinos. (laughs) Are you kidding me? I would love a turtles line to really go all the way. And I'm not sure if NECA's going to do it. That's my problem. We know that we're getting a Rocksteady and Bebop from NECA. We know that we're getting a Slash. All three of which I want. But, like, I want it all. I want it now. I want Leatherhead. I think you just need Splinter. And I want then you'll Splinter. Be done. I want April. I want Casey. I want Rat King. I want yeah. Baxter Stockman. You I want really... Baxter Stockman before he's the fly? Pre no. Baxter Stockman? No, just the fly. And a couple of Mausers hanging around him. That's where I'm at. I want Storm Collectibles to run the gamut with the Injustice figures. I want Todd McFarlane to go to the edge of the universe with DC. I want NECA and Super 7, which we haven't seen, we're supposed to see at San Diego, to go hardcore into Turtle. I want a Turtles line. I want Ace McDuck. I want all these dudes. I like. I'll... <laughs> Dude, do you think you're going to get it, though? I don't know. And that's the problem. Laura and I have been talking about redesigning the basement a little bit. Like a to, little bit. To get Only every... every every spare yeah. minute. <laughs> to get like everything it's kind of accounted it's for. Like, uh, You've got a good three years before. Because, you know, think about it's going to be a year and a half. They're going to go through the main five and or six people. We've got lots of turtles that he had to have. She, look, she, she doesn't understand. He had to have them. Laura, you break one of Bobby's figures. Do you tell him or, or do you replace it without him knowing like a mom would to a pet? <laughs> uh, no, I totally wouldn't replace it. I would either tell him or if it was on a shelf that never got any love, I'd just leave it there until he knows <laughs> What'd you do, Bobby? That's what I'm cautious about because if McFarlane does this right, I'm in. What if they look good but they just don't perform well? If I can pose them or at least stand them without their joints falling apart, which is a McFarlane issue as well, I'll be okay. He'll buy them either way. I won't buy them either way. You will. I won't. And (laughs) and Laura, you don't. Let me ask you something. You don't. You don't have a collect. Like you're not a necessarily like I have a collection of your own, or do you? No. Would you collect anything? You mean in in the toy world? No. Or, or no, anything. Just anything. Uh, I mean, I would love to collect shoes and bags again one day, maybe. I used to... <laughs> You used to have a quite impressive shoe and bag collection. Yeah. Those are the the, the the new collections that I'm looking most forward to is what NECA and Super 7 are doing with Turtles, Storm Collectibles, and McFarlane Toys are doing with DC. And I might go in on this Jack Pacific line to flesh out my Super Mario Brothers collection. Oh, that's right, because they were making the Koopa Kids, right? Correct. And just you're just, you're just you're just going to have a room full of Transformers. Yeah. So here, honestly, and this is the, really the thing about it, oh, man, it's going to sound terrible. Terrible. I, I, there's no other way to say it. Transformers to me are borderline toy. Like I don't like the fact that I collect toys. Mm-hmm. I got some kind of like psychological hangup about it. I hear you. Going down like collecting like Marvel stuff and stuff like that like bugs me a little bit. But I would collect like the Street Fighter figures are dope to me. You know what I mean? I love the Dragon Ball Z figures, but I hate the show. Like the actual what? shows. Uh, How dude. do you hate the show? <laughs> it's hey, dude. 
<laughs> it's terrible. You're I've terrible. tried to watch it because I think the figures look awesome. You're Excuse terrible. Me, bleep that out. But I, every time I watch a show, it's just like, no, my foot. You stepped on my foot. <laughs> that is not the show. You're going to with a fireball. <laughs> that is not the show at all. This is like, uh, the show is brutal. <laughs> This is like everybody, yeah, sure, but sure. But in the meantime, you got to deal with the guy getting all wild out because, yo, my my clothes, you pulled my clothes. I feel you, yeah. Jisk. I feel this you. Is too wacky to me. You're all wacky. So, None of you watch the show. You don't. You're not qualified to judge it. If I, if I was to go full bore on collecting, it would be key elements from things that I liked. I'd get that Solar Chigokin Voltron. I'd collect some Street Fighter stuff. It'd have to be just the characters from the original Street Fighter Two. Would you I'd go Storm collectibles or would you go SH Figuarts? Who made the Zangief? Storm. And then that's where I would go. Mm. Who's making that? Uh, mm. That's the guy. Mm. Storm. Just that was dis- yeah. That was a uh, no. No, I think I, I think I think Storm is great. I don't know if I made the right yeah. choice. That Zangief to me is beautiful, and that Sagat is looking. Beautiful. I agree. I agree on both. Yeah, accounts. and that's why I go that route. I don't think you or can Ryu. lose. I don't think you can. Yeah, lose. I don't think so either. But you are ultimately happy with just the Transformers collection, correct? Yeah. If this is all I ever had, and once it's it, my plan has always been once it's done and I've got what I want, I'm done. Robert, are you happy <laughs> with just the Transformers collection? No. What do I'm you need? What right do you need to be happy? What do you need no, to be happy? Oh, sad panda. I, I need to change it all up. I, I just need to change it all up. I, I think you do. Space. I think you're ready. I think you're ready. Yeah, and I, know, yeah. I know. I know that I am not. So Anne Hathaway's boots from Dark Knight Ooh. Rises. I need a Marvel Freddy. logo with a big X through it. Freddie Mercury dressed as a maid. I need to see a photo of what fragile comments look like. <laughs> <laughs> I want to. I want to see a detolf. You know, I want to see just a nice, clean detolf. Yeah, I want to see a detolf used for something other than hamster cages and uh, collecting figures. Skullface working with his graph paper and his cutouts to arrange his basement. Ooh, I want to see a photo of Skullface cleaning his tub. But can I? Can I have one for the closing? Yeah, yeah please you can do. Have one. I want to see a blanket on a tree. Oh, dude, <laughs> you don't even know.